Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and uh, in this new video series we are going to be creating a brand new app entirely in SwiftUI and this time we are going to be uh, building a Disney Plus clone app. Okay, so let me go ahead and give it a go and uh, there we go. We are going to create this nice splash view with the animation and uh, we are going to have this uh, this uh, Disney Plus app uh, with like, you know, this home page uh, that we have created and you're going to have your search uh, tab. So basically we're going to be covering how to create um, your custom tab bars, uh, your empty state views, your profile uh, with uh, different components. So you're going to be learning about like, you know, various different things about Swift UI and uh, you're going to be actually uh, creating like, you know, some uh, special effects, for example, like, you know, these uh, shadow effect, like, you know, with the nice background and stuff, like, you know, all the movie details stuff. But let's go back into the uh, homepage. Uh, you are going to be creating everything from scratch. So basically, you're gonna have a carousel view which is gonna display new and upcoming movies and the highlights that a Disney Plus wants to show you you're gonna have like you know list of channels that are available or brand names uh, within the Disney Plus uh, space and then you're gonna have like a horizontal scroll for uh, movies that are recommended for you that Disney thinks that you're gonna like and there's gonna be a section for hit movies and currently playing movies so as you can see this is two-way scroll scrolling up and down and left and right which is quite common in many of the apps uh, these days and then from there uh, you'll be building out a detail view which is gonna display the detail of the movie and you'll be able to build out this uh, detail view uh, which is gonna have like you know all the details about the movie itself but it's also uh, gonna have like you know a uh, movie player which is gonna play the movie from somewhere in a URL so like you know it's gonna be basically launched from a URL and you're gonna be able to play those uh, different videos now um, there is another feature that you're gonna be um, you're going to be looking at is basically the video player comes with something that actually can launch uh, uh, the video player in full screen it has like you know all the controls for you to pause scrub and everything and uh, going back you can dismiss that and uh, dismiss this guy uh, to land on the home screen back now from there you're going to build a search screen which is which has like you know always on uh, a search uh being displayed like you know all the time search bar being displayed all the time and it's going to be it's going to have like you know all these different categories like disney plus app has and you can actually filter these results so like for example captain um, or star wars and stuff like that and from there you can launch the same uh, movie detail view which is gonna display the movie details for you now uh like you're gonna learn like you know how you can re reuse uh, different views and uh, create reusable components within the app itself and uh, then you're gonna learn about like you know creating simple views for example empty state and how to like you know display them and uh, along the way we are also going to discuss uh, some small tips and tricks that that you're gonna you can actually uh, pick up like you know while building and uh, you're also going to be uh, building uh, the um, uh, you're also going to be learning like you know about the challenges that actually can help you make this app uh, to the next level and uh, then you're gonna have like you know your profile screen with like some of the common operations within the app itself all right so yeah so that is the app that we're gonna be building so hopefully you are excited uh, and uh, uh, to join me in this uh, journey to build uh, Disney plus clone using Swift UI